Hey everyone, it's Tira with Rent Mason Bees. I am getting a lot of emails and messages right now of people sending me pictures of birds building nests and birds getting into their baby bees that are inside the nesting blocks. So today I wanted to show you how to set up a bird deterrent for your bee house. Um, there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. Um, you are able to shove in the empty space pine cones and collect natural things from your yard, your yard just to kind of put in that empty space. That's, that's going to prevent the birds building a nest and the paper wasps building little nests inside. If you see birds sitting on your bee house and with their long beaks going in and pulling out your baby bees, that's where the chicken wire is gonna come in. And we recommend using chicken wire that's two inches in diameter. Um, you wanna make sure that their little wings don't touch the wire when they're flying through. So if you, you use anything smaller than this, they can damage their wings, which means they won't be able to fly and they won't perish. So we wanna make sure we're using the proper material when we're making our um, deterrent for our birds. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, you don't wanna put it flat up against your bee house because then the birds will have another perch that they can sit on. You kinda of wanna arch it and angle it. And um, you know, I like to do things simple with mason bees because having mason bees is a really easy thing to do. So I'm just gonna use little tacks. I don't know if you can see this. All right, there we go, a little tack. So you're gonna use this and um, with this type of chicken wire, you can see that there's these little tiny twists in there. So you can kind of untwist it to stick the tack in. And I like to use the thicker base of the house. If you use the thin, it doesn't squish in as easily, but if you use the top with the thicker base and then the bottom with a thicker base, you'll have better luck sticking it in um, with the tack. So I'm just gonna do one on this side and just push it in. And then where's my other tack? I'll come over on this side. So you see how it's a bit of an arch. And then I'll put one on this side right here. I don't want to knock over my bee house. So there you go. That's how you set up the chicken wire. Now you can cut the excess off the bottom. You can arch it a little bit more. But I like using tacks because it's easy to do and install. You can also use nails if you'd like to as well. But this is how we set up our chicken wire to deter birds on your bee house. Uh, please follow our newsletter on our website to learn all sorts of tips and tricks on raising solitary bees. Uh, visit our Facebook page and our YouTube channel has tons of videos that we're constantly putting up there. So happy pollinating. Thank you. Bye.